Farmers Bank and Trust. We know banking isn't always top of mind. You've got other things to focus on, like your family, your job, your health. But our products and services are designed to fit your schedule and needs, from online and mobile banking to convenient hours and locations. Farmers Bank and Trust is easy banking for busy living. To learn more, stop by your local branch today or visit myfarmers.bank. The j -Row Photo Senior Experience is like no other. Come join me for your entire senior year as we have unique group shoots, unmatched solo sessions, and listen, when I tell you it's throughout your whole year, it's the whole year long. It's a great time. I want to give a huge shout out to our current j -Row Photo 2021 model crew. We've had some unbelievable shoots so far, and trust me, there is way more to come. 2022 seniors, your time's coming. Hey, we've already got a few members on the team for next year. Who's next?
and welcome to Star City, Arkansas, where tonight we are set for the championship game of the South Regional Tournament, featuring your Magnolia Panthers against the Watson Chapel Wildcats. Hi, I'm Mark Trout, joined by Magnolia High School Principal Chris Carter. This is the Farmers Bank and Trust pregame show. From online and mobile banking to convenient hours and locations, Farmers Bank and Trust is easy banking for busy living. Find a Farmers Bank and Trust location near you at myfarmers.bank. And uh, Chris, last night we saw, I'm not sure what we saw last night. Explain to us what we saw Magnolia pull out a miraculous win somehow, 51-48 over Monticello on a, a buzzing beating shot, buzzer beating shot by Devontae Walker after the ball was deflected into his hands. Well, if you, uh, if you go back and watch all of the footage and you and I have talked about it all the way over here and even last night, the, the final score in the book was us winning by three, but in reality, we should have won by seven. You know, early in the first quarter, first half, I should say, Mark, there was a four point swing due to an error in the official scorebook. And I did hear Coach Lindsey and others talking as they uh, got into the arena tonight that the, um, the director of athletics and the assistant coach from Star City did come over and and make a formal apology that they recognized that there was an error last night in favor of Monticello. But like we say, you have to overcome adversity. And overcoming adversity does not necessarily mean a game situation where you're down. It could be something like that where it's a human error and you just have to overcome it. And, and, we they, did. and they did that last night. It didn't look good. They were down 40 to 36 late with like two minutes left in the game and somehow able to come back. Gary and Ford hit a couple of uh, free throws down the stretch. But it was a one-point game when a play when a freshman uh, Quay Rhodes went to the line for Monticello and uh, only made one of two free throws that left the game tied. You know that's a different situation. You come down, oh, you're trailing yeah. by one. And that three-pointer is not as easy to hit. A lot more pressure then. Well, when you go back and watch uh, Panthers TV and the footage, Darian penetrates the key and actually bounces it off of a defender's foot. It, it in the beginning or here live, it looked like it was a pass. But it wasn't. It actually, he was trying. He was taking the ball to the basket. It hit the play, defender's foot and went right into Devontae's hands, and he hit the three at the buzzer. The, was, the freshman that you're referring to, right before the referee handed him the basketball last night to shoot the free throws, he had no points. Right. That was his only point of the night. Right. And to put that kind of pressure on a ninth grader, you know, he hit one. He hit one. It. Made the first one. That's yeah. right. Made the first one and didn't miss the you second gotta, one. And you got to play to the horn blows, you right? Gotta, you got to play the whole way. It was a, an, an incredible game. And uh, if you were here, you know it was a raucous crowd. And, uh, you know, and amazing to watch you if you're watching from home. So a lot of fun. We're expecting another good game tonight. Magnolia comes in tonight. Their winning streak still intact. 52 wins in a row. Dating back, almost lost to the same team they lost to two years ago with Monticello at Mina in the regional tournament semifinals. Tonight, though, they're 52-0, 21-0 this year, taking on a very talented, very athletic Watson Chapel Wildcat team that is 13-8, finished second in the district uh, tournament to Magnolia. Just These two teams played just a week ago with Magnolia really kind of overcoming, really putting Watson Chapel away at 72-48. Yeah. Watson Chapel came in last week in Magnolia with a nice game plan, uh, Christopher Fountain, one of their leading scorers, had to sit the first quarter. Um, no, no, not sure why, uh, but he's he's a fantastic basketball player and somebody to watch. And he should be on somebody's watch list as far as collegiate goes. He's about six four, and, and and can shoot. Of course, the big guy for Chapel inside, Antoine Emsweller, about six eight. Um, he likes to get down there and pound it out a little bit. Not a big time scorer, but he does like to get in there and bang it around a little bit. So it's going to be a it's going to be a great ball game. We've we've turned out in groves. I think we sold more than 500 tickets. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> What's interesting is before the game started, Magnolia fans they've been sitting on the home side for the entire tournament. They thought they were the home side again because Magnolia's the number one seed. They're on the home side. They were kindly asked to change sides and move over here. 
So they're already in a mood. Uh, <laughs> they've been standing doing some cheers before we came on the air tonight. And it is about packed on our side. This is the biggest yeah. crowd I've seen on a on one side of a court of a basketball game yeah. this year. And let me tell you, folks, they're just waiting for something to cheer about. Watson Chapel, not as uh, not as many on the Watson Chapel side so far, but I think Magnolia fans bought some of their tickets. I do too. I I look behind you. We look behind us, and there's more than 500 people sitting behind us. And with the governor's new push and 50 percent capacity, you know that gave Star City an opportunity to sell about a thousand tickets for 500 per team. And uh, I'm I'm like you, Mark. I think that we probably purchased some of Watson Chapels after they were. Uh, their time had expired, if you will, on sales. So it's a great night for basketball. I'm glad we're here. Uh, I'm, I'm Watson Chapel, I'm certain, is ready to play. And uh, surely after last night, the Panthers are going to come back in here and and, uh, and, and, and and get out of here with a regional finals championship. Well, this is the third meeting between these two teams. Back in January, January 5th, Magnolia defeated Watson Chapel in a very close game, 58-47. to In that game, you mentioned M. Sweller. He had a great second half. 16 points in the second half, 20 for the game. Uh, Chris Fountain, you mentioned him, 14 points in that contest. But Darian Ford led all scorers with 27. Yeah. And Colby Garland right there with 13. Well, Darian and Colby and, the, and, and our bunch last night, you know, I, I you hate to say this about kids, they, they seemed a little flat. Um, then the score thing happened and, and adversity struck. And, and sometimes that opens teams' eyes. And I think that may have helped us prepare for this game tonight, Mark. I, I think it will. We are just about set for tip-off. Uh, you've been listening to the Farmers Bank and Trust pregame show. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll have tonight's uh, opening tip. We'll look at our starting lineups, all that and more right after this. Are you interested in lowering your mortgage payment and interest rate? How about refinancing to cash out some of your home equity? Before you lock in a mortgage online, let us give you a quote. At People's Bank, we have great rates and will help you through each step of the process. It's what we do. You have questions, we have answers. Call us today. People's Bank, equal housing lender and member FDIC.
High School principal, Chris Carter. We're just about set for tonight's championship game between the New Mexico Panthers and the Watson Chapel, of Watson Chapel Wildcats. Uh, Magnolia, as we mentioned, 21 and 0, 13 and 8. Excuse me, 21 and 0. Mac Watson Chapel, 13 and 8 this season. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. We've been they've been announcing these starters here on the PA announcer. Uh, and right now, let's take a look. Devontae Walker starting at forward, 6'5", junior. Navy Tell, one guard, 5'7", sophomore. The other guards, 5'7", junior, Adrian Walker. Darian Ford, a 6'4", junior guard. And a 6'1", junior, Colby Garland, also starting at guard. We're just about set. It's going to be number four, Antoine Entweller jumping center against Devontae Walker. You hear the crowd. We're, we've got the Magnolia fans right behind us, and it's probably going to be pretty loud here tonight, folks, as they are ready to cheer on their Panthers. Here's a tip controlled by the 6'8 Insweller. It's going to be uh, Watson Chapel basketball. Wildcats moving left to right on your radio dial or your TV screen if you're watching on Panthers TV. Wildcats have it. In their all white uniform. Here's a pass. Intercepted by Devontae Walker. Garland into the front court. Magnolia first chance with the basketball on offense to Adrian Walker. Hands off to Navy. Back to Darian Ford. Ford in the lane. Spin move goes out to Colby Garland. Left wing. Three pointer not there. Rebound captured by the Wildcats. No score. We're just underway. 7 19 to play. Opening quarter. Keyshawn Brown starting for Watson Chapel, and there is a three for the Wildcats. And the Wildcats have the opening points here tonight. Magnolia with the basketball. Darian Ford thought about driving lane, kicks it out to Walker. His pass intercepted, and here's Watson Chapel with the easy layup. Kamani Cooper with the layup. And the Wildcats up 5-0 early on. 6.43 to play. Adrian Walker, right side, gives off to Devontae Walker. Magnolia with a big win last night, an emotional win. Now we've got a whistle and a foul called. And I believe it's going to go against Watson Chapel. Trying to see who that's on. It does uh, go against Watson Chapel. Gary and Ford with the basketball. Setting the Magnolia offense. Adrian Walker, right side. In the corner, Navy Tell, three. Good. Navy Tell buries the three. And Magnolia scores its first points of the game. 6-17 to play, first period. Watson Chapel on top by three. And for Magnolia, came tonight with a good cheer. A little, uh, little upset after last night's game, a scoring controversy. We talked about that in the pregame. Here's a shot partially blocked. In the corner it goes. Three on the way, in and out, not there. Rebound, knocked out. Adrian Walker behind the pass, behind the back dribble, gives off to Garland. Garland in the lane, whistle, and he's going to be called for the offensive foul. First foul against Kobe Garland. First team foul against Magnolia. And it is. Magnolia, excuse me, Watson Chapel basketball. Watson Chapel with the ball, offensive end. Out front it goes to number one, Keyshawn Brown. Brown gives off to Cooper. Cooper to Carmen Wilkins. Wilkins dribbling inside. And Kicks it out, three-point line, and we got a whistle and a traveling call against Kamani Cooper. Cooper wanting to drive the baseline, call for taking steps, and it will belong to Magnolia following the turnover. Magnolia trailing by two, five, three. We're just underway. Five minutes, 12 seconds left to play opening quarter. Darian Ford bringing it down court for Magnolia. Goes up off the glass, in and out, no good. Not sure how that one didn't drop through. It's going to be Wilkins on the move. Wilkins goes up, can't get the shot. And it's going to be Hemsweller over the back, I believe. Hemsweller called for the foul. So two team fouls against Watson Chapel, just one so far against Magnolia. 
Wildcats on top by two, 5-3. 4.57 left to play first quarter. The winner of this game will get a number one seed in the state tournament next week in Moralton. We'll play Thursday afternoon at one o'clock. Navy Tell driving the baseline, goes up off the glass. Nice move by Navy Tell. And Navy with all five of my oldest points in the early going. 4.36. Brown brings it down court for the Wildcats. Magnolia wearing it's all red with a white trim. Road uniform. Watson Chapel White with gold trim. Here's a three on the way. Off the mark, no good by Brown. Rebound comes off to Magnolia. Adrian Walker into the front court quickly. Magnolia pushing the tempo. Navy Tell wants to drive the baseline. Kicks it out, tries to get it to Garland. Goes out of bounds and will belong to Watson Chapel. Turnover by Magnolia. And with 4-12 left, we're tied at five. Feeling hungry tonight? Why not think about Pizza Hut? Try contactless, del contactless delivery. Carry out in a new curbside pickup at your Magnolia Pizza Hut. They won't deliver to me tonight in Star City, but they can deliver to you. Call in your order at 870-234-8380 or order online at PizzaHut.com. Here's Insweller off the glass, won't go, gets his own rebound, goes up strong, gets the bucket. Insweller, first points of the night, and Watson Chapel back on top by two. 7-5 our score. Now we've got a whistle and a foul in the lane as Darian Ford wants to drive to the basket. That's going to go against Carmen Wilkins. Three team fouls now against the Wildcats. Navy Tell inbounds for the Panthers. Darian Ford with the basketball. Magnolia trying to get Ford involved in the action and Ford loses his footing. We saw that several times with players last night on the move. Here is Imsweller missing a putback. Watson Chapel with the rebound. Now Chris Fountain goes up, and Fountain called for the travel. Not sure how Watson Chapel didn't score. Imsweller was right in front of the basket with the ball. Just missed an easy putback. Magnolia still down by two, 7-5, 3.23 remaining. Here's Adrian Walker for the three. Good! Adrian Walker with the three. Left wing, and Magnolia takes its first lead of the night. 8-7. Magnolia with a 52-game winning streak on the line tonight. Watson Chapel, of course, would love to break that winning streak, would also love to win the regional title in tonight's contest. Wilkins with the basketball, working against Ford. Wilkins driving inside, and Wilkins loses his footing, will be called for the charge. And Chris, you and I talked about this last night. I, I think there's something wrong with the floor here. Yeah. I see players every game slipping. I think, I think it's just sweating, Mark. I think that the floor is new and just sweating. Looks like uh, Watson Chapel's called a timeout. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it as well. 8-7, Magnolia on top. Back after this. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the experienced team at Southern Caregivers provides expert care to you and your loved ones. Southern Caregivers also provides needed support for seniors, allowing them to remain in the comfort of their own home and maintain their independence. The nurturing and caring companions can be matched to meet emotional, spiritual, and physical needs of the individuals they care for. Call 501-463-9990 today and speak with one of our professionals or visit southerncaregiversar.com. Back to live action. Adrian Walker into the front court with the basketball for Magnolia. Up by one, eight, seven, 246 left. Alley oop inside to Ford. Ford goes back up, gets the easy basket. Darian Ford, his first points tonight. And Magnolia with its biggest lead at three, 10 7. Watson Chapel with the ball. Can't tie it here with the three. Wilkins, top of the key, goes, goes for the three, hits the back of the iron, no good. Adrian Walker with the rebound. Magnolia, up tempo, pushing the basketball. Garland thought about the three, will drive it in the lane, a little pull-up jumper, will not go. Ford with the rebound, goes up, has it partially blocked, and it is Watson Chapel basketball. Wilkins on the move, Wilkins, alley-oop, and Fountain inside has to go back up, gets the shot to fall, and draws the foul. So Chris Fountain, with the bucket, his first points. Stop the clock! Stop the clock! And the clock has continued to run after the foul was called. 
fans from Magnolia don't like it. And uh, we lost about 10 seconds. That, that was about 16 seconds. That needs, there you go. And they're going to put it back to 155. So at the line, Chris Fountain with one shot. Free throw on the way is good. Fountain ties the game at 10. 153 remaining here in the first quarter. Adrian Walker into the front court. Watson Chapel playing zone defense against the Panthers. In the corner to tell. Back to Garland, over to Adrian Walker, right wing. To Devontae Walker in the corner, long cross court pass to Colby Garland. Left open for three, shot is good. <laughs> Colby Garland with the three. And Magnolia back on top by three, 13-10. You don't want to leave Colby Garland open. I mean, he's going to hit, he's going to burn you every time on a shot like that. Brown with the basketball. Pass inside, goes to Hall. Gets it out, now to Wilkins. Wilkins backs it out. Wilkins dribbling around the perimeter. Gives off to Hall, now top of the key it goes. Now here's a three on the way by Wilkins, will not go. Rebound tipped around, picked up by Fountain, goes up off the glass, good. Nice move by Fountain, and he's quickly got five points. 13-12, Panthers on top, 46 seconds remaining. Adrian Walker with the basketball out near half court. Bounce pass to Ford, Ford wants to drive it inside. Ford goes up in the lane, floater is good. Basket counts and Ford draws the foul. And Chris, it looks like to me that uh, Magnolia really trying to get uh, Darian Ford into the offense early in this one. Yeah, and they're trying to get him down low. And it's because he can out jump everybody on the floor, Mark. So they're putting him down low, moving Devontae Walker in and out. And I believe it's a bench warning on the Watson Chapel. But they're, they're getting Darian down low because he can out jump all of the guys. And that's, that's a, he can even out jump Inzweller. They're 6'8 guys, so that's not a bad game plan. Here's Darian Ford at the free throw line. Free throw on the way is good. Darian completes the three point play, and Magnolia with its biggest lead at four. 16 12, 33 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Wilkins with the basketball. Watson Chapel looks like they might want to hold for the final shot. 22 seconds, Fountain on the right wing. Gives out front to Cooper. Cooper back to Wilkins. 13 seconds left. Cooper guarded by Ford. Darian right in his face. Down to seven seconds, six seconds. Good defense. Here's Fountain, right wing. Jumper for two is good. Chris Fountain with the bucket. Seven points already for Chris Fountain. And our score after one quarter of play is 16-14. Sixteen, fourteen. So here we go after one quarter. It's 16, 15. That looked like a, Chris, that looked like a two-pointer to me. I thought he was inside the three-point line. They are conferring after the bucket went in, the horn went off, and the uh, outside official gave him the three, and the guy on the baseline gave him a two. So. They're gonna go ahead and give him the three-pointer because this gentleman was closer to the shot. Sure looked like a two from our vantage point, but nevertheless, 16-15. We're gonna take a 30-second break. We'll be back in the second quarter right after this. Congratulations, you're having a little girl. At that moment, everything changed. Our hopes and dreams for ourselves were instantly replaced by our hopes and dreams for her. We got life insurance policies from Shelter Insurance so that regardless of what life throws at us, we'll still be able to provide the world to her. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. When everything changes for you, visit Shelter Agent Gary Don Farah in Magnolia. Sixteen fifteen. Magnolia will start with the basketball here in the second quarter. And already some controversy in this contest. Does that look like a two-pointer from our vantage point? Officials say a three. So instead of 16-14, it's 16-15. Magnolia on top by only one point. 
Darian Ford has the ball, wants to drive inside, goes up in the lane. Floater is good. Darian Ford is just driving inside time after time. Magnolia trying to get the ball to him on almost every possession, forcing Watson Chapel to try and guard him. Wilkins with the ball, top of the key. And now we got a whistle and a, an offensive foul called against Imsweller. I thought they were going to call Wilkins for the travel. Instead, Imsweller called for his second personal. That's going to be the fifth, excuse me, fourth team foul. No, that is fifth team foul against Watson Chapel. Magnolia at the basketball. Ford wants to drive the baseline. Ford goes up under the basket, will not fall. Gets his own rebound, loses it, goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Panthers. Not sure how that one didn't fall, but somehow did not go in. So Magnolia still holding on to a three-point advantage. 18-15, Panthers on top. Seven minutes left to play, first half. Wilkins gives off to M. Sweller, to Hall. Now to Wilkins on the right wing, out front to Fountain, all alone for the three, off the mark. Ford there for the rebound. Ford pushing the pace into the front court, in the corner to Garland. Garland for three on the way, yes! Colby Garland, his second three of the night. And Garland nails it. Magnolia 21 to 15, now the biggest lead for Magnolia. At six points, Wilkins from the right wing for three, hits the iron, no good. Garland with the rebound, outlet to Ford. Darian Ford up for the slam dunk. Darian Ford drives it home, and just like that, the Panthers on top by eight. Timeout called 23-15. We're back right after this. Hiring someone you trust can be the hardest part of owning a business. At Bo Moses Trucking, trust has been at the top of our list. When you need to get precious cargo from one place to another without worrying about damage, delays, or lost freight, Bo Moses Trucking is the one to count on. Based in Magnolia, Arkansas, since 1999, we have the resources and equipment to take care of all your flatbed freight hauling. Visit us on Facebook or call 870-234-2803. Bo Moses Trucking. Trust us to go the distance. Welcome back to Star City. Magnolia leads 23-15 following a breakaway slam by Darian Ford. Stay tuned at halftime for our Magnolia Regional Medical Center halftime show. The Magnolia Family Clinic, Magnolia Family Medical Clinic is your full-service health care provider for all members of your family, ages birth through end of life. They accept patients by walk-in or with an appointment. Call today, 235-3555. Watson Chapel to inbounds following the Wildcat timeout. Trying to stop the momentum of the Panthers. 23-15 Panthers on top. Now in the lane, it's going to be Cooper going up and drawing the foul. Can't make the shot fall. So he'll step to the line to shoot a couple. 6.05 remaining. Cooper will have two shots here. Cooper with two points in the first quarter. First trip to the free throw line, makes the first. Stay tuned at halftime for our Vodka Bank Panther Spotlight, where we spotlight a Panther athlete. Second free throw rattles around, drops through. Two for two out of two on that possession. 23-17, Vodka Bank Panther Spotlight brought to you by Vodka Bank, local bank, local people. Here's Darian Ford goes up, shot, rolls around the rim, falls off. Whistle and a foul, and Darian Ford back at the free throw line once again. Ford one of one on his only trip to the free throw line tonight. He's got nine points here in the first half. Chance for two more here. Ford eyes the basket. Free throw on the way, a little short, hits the rim. Darian will have a second. All the starters still on the floor for Magnolia. Second free throw is up. This one hits the back of the iron, no good. Ford usually such a consistent free throw shooter. One game this year, I think he hit 16 of 18 free throws. Last night, however, just four of 12, and so far tonight, one of three. So Darian Ford's really been struggling at the line the last couple of games. Hopefully he'll get his touch back before this one's over tonight. Six point advantage, Magnolia, 23-17, 5.44 to play, second quarter. Watson Chapel built a five. Zero advantage early in the first. Watson Chapel with the ball. Fountain 
has it. Now we've got a whistle, and it's going to be Emsweller called for another offensive foul. That's going to be his third, and I think he may have to sit down for the rest. That's his third foul. So Emsweller with three personals and not happy with one of his teammates. Not sure what they're talking about, but uh, Emsweller not happy. He'll sit down and trying to see who's coming in to take his spot. Looks like it's uh, Keyshawn Brown back into the game for the Wildcats. Of the offensive end for Magnolia. Darian Ford has it, wants to drive the baseline, and, and Ford this time is going to be called for the offensive foul. A little bit of a push, a little bit of acting, and add them together, you get an offensive foul. First foul tonight against Darian Ford. That's going to be the fourth team foul against Magnolia. Watson Chapel with seven. As Cooper brings the ball down Ford for the Wildcats. 5-10 remaining, second quarter. Magnolia on top, 23-17. Hall, nice bounce pass. Pull-up jumper will not go, misses everything, does Cooper. Magnolia with the rebound. Here comes Darian Ford. Darian wants to drive inside, pull-up jumper. A little short, rebound chased down by Watson Chapel. Outlet up ahead to Cooper. Cooper into the front court, drives the lane, goes up off the glass. Nice move by Kamani Cooper. Cooper with six points. And the lead cut to four, 23-19. Watson Chapel on a 4-0 run. Garland gets the ball inside to, Gar to uh, Ford. Needs a little help, has it slapped away, and a whistle is going to, uh, a foul is going to go against Watson Chapel here. And this will be a one-in-one -one situation for Darian Ford. 23-19. Panthers on top, and Ford, one to three at the free throw line tonight, a chance to put the lead back at six. Ford set, first free throw on the way is good. Ford nails the first one. Earns the second. Ford set, second free throw up and good. So just like that, Darian Ford nails two and the lead back to six, 25-19. Four and a half left to play in the first half. Into the front court are the Wildcats. Hall to Fountain. Fountain out front it goes now to Brown. Brown from the free throw line. Jumper on the way, hits the iron, no good. Garland with the rebound. Panthers want to run. Garland into the lane. Garland goes up. Shot, gets the bounce, falls through. Garland draws the foul. And Colby Garland will step to the free throw line at a chance at a three-point play. Colby Garland now with eight, eight points tonight. Chance to make it nine. Checking in for Watson Chapel, number five, Thurman Shaw. And Keyshawn Brown will sit down. Garland at the free throw line, first time tonight. Free throw on the way is good. Garland with nine points, and Panthers lead by nine. 28-19, 4.04 to play, first half. Cooper into the, free, into the uh, front court. Fountain, top of the key. Gives off now to, Hall, uh, excuse me, to Shaw. There's a jumper on the way. Three-pointer by Kamani Cooper. Nice stroke by Cooper. Cuts the lead to six, 28-22. Ford, right wing, wants to drive inside. Ford goes up, off the glass, good. What a move by Darian Ford. And a whistle after the shot. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe Cooper took an inadvertent finger or, I'm not sure, did you see what happened, Chris? I think he got poked in the eye, uh, Mark. They got an injury timeout on the floor. Okay, I see now he is kind of holding his eye like he, he might have gotten poked. Watson Chapel. I think we might uh, take a little bit longer for an injury timeout, but we're set to go. It will be Watson Chapel basketball. Three and a half left to go second quarter as Wilkins brings it into the front court. From the right wing, top of the key, it goes now to Hall. Hall, left side, jumper not there, rebound. Knocked out, picked up by Wilkins. Wilkins has it taken away by Adrian Walker. Walker, one on two. Walker goes in the lane, has the ball stripped away. Watson Chapel comes out with it. 
Wilkins on the attack. Wilkins wants to drive the basket, goes up off the glass, can't get this one to fall. Rebound knocked out of bounds, I believe, by Devontae Walker. And the officials disagree. They say that last touch by Magnolia. I thought, uh, I thought Devontae Walker got a hand on that one. Chris Carter looking and nodding his head in agreement. That, that looked like a, a pretty easy call that time. Not sure what happened, but uh, Magnolia with the basketball. 30-22, Panthers on top, 2.45 to play. First quarter, Devontae Walker, top of the key. Gives off to Garland on the left wing. Garland dribbling around the perimeter to Walker. Walker from the right wing, three on the way, hit the back of the iron, no good. Navy Tell with the rebound. Long rebound, Navy Tell, right place, right time to Garland. And Garland now will pull it out. Panthers on top by eight. Pass in the corner to Darian Ford. Darian to Garland. Thought about the three in the corner to Devontae Walker. His three on the way. Rims out no good. Long rebound. Chased down by Garland. Pull up from the free throw line. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes off the hall. Three chances for Magnolia. Couldn't get one down. Lead remains eight. 30, 22, 202 to play before halftime. Magnolia with four fouls. Watson Chapel with nine. Wilkins with the ball out front. Setting up the offense. Gives off to Hall. Hall to Wilkins. Wilkins wants to drive the baseline. In the corner it goes. Three-pointer on the way. No good. Misses everything. Rebound saved by Magnolia. And a whistle in the backcourt will go against Chris Mountain. Navy Tell will walk the other end and shoot two free throws. Tenth foul already against Watson Chapel. We'll send Navy to the free throw line for the Panthers. Two, two shot foul here from here on out for Magnolia on fouls. First free throw up and good. For Navy tail, that's six points tonight. And the Panthers lead at nine, matching their biggest lead of the night. Second free throw up, no good. Rebound to Hall. Hall hands off in the backcourt to Wilkins. 31-22, a minute and a half left to play before halftime. Stay tuned at the half. We've got the Magnolia Regional Medical Center halftime show. Hall in the corner, gives off the fountain. Fountain driving inside, goes up. Shot will not go, but a whistle and a foul will send Chris Fountain to the free throw line. Fountain uh, came in off the bench in the first quarter, scored a quick seven points. Scoreless so far in the second quarter. Hit his only free throw so far tonight. Fountain's free throw hits the back of the iron, no good. 31-22, Panthers up by nine. They've defeated Watson Chapel twice this season, most uh, recently last week in the district finals, 72-48. Second free throw is good. Garland brings it down court for the Panthers, 31-23. Navy Tell with the basketball on the left side, guarded by Hall. Navy backs it out. 105 left. Garland with a three-pointer from the left wing will not go. Fountain with the rebound, hands off to Wilkins. Wilkins brings it into the front court. Less than a minute to play before the half. 50 seconds and counting. Magnolia up by eight, 31-23. Wilkins now pulls it back out. Wilkins wants to drive. Nice spin move and then pulls it back out. Tries a bounce pass to a cutting fountain. Will not go. Magnolia picks it off. Garland now in the front court. Gives off to Darian Ford. Thought about the three spin move on the baseline. Now pulls it back out. Ford on the left side. Wants to drive inside. Gives off to Garland at the top of the key. Back to Ford. Ford working against Hall. Back to Garland. Garland now to Ford from the left wing for three. Yes! Darian Ford with the three. Darian Ford. Scoring every which way possible here in the first half. 16 points already for Ford. And Magnolia with its biggest lead, 34-23. Three on the way for Watson Chapel will not go. And that's going to do it for the end of the first half. Our score after one half of play, Magnolia 34, Watson Chapel 23. We'll be back with the Magnolia Regional Medical Center halftime show right after this. Having been established in 1903, Botcall Bank has 117 years.
this community. I am Jeff White. And I'm Callie Epperson. Come visit us at 2125 North Jackson in Magnolia. Whether it's the purchase of a new home, a sound business investment, or simply advice on your banking needs, at Bog Call Bank, we're ready for what's ahead. Be, be kind, kind, be, be considerate, considerate, be, be Bog Call. Call. I'm Faith Armstrong. If you worry about your safety or your loved ones, Columbia County Ambulance Service would like you to know about CareLink. CareLink provides an instant link to emergency response every minute, every day. The standard version provides protection surrounding the home, and a mobile unit offers protection anywhere. The area covered includes Columbia, Hempstead, Nevada, Washita, Lafayette Counties, and Claiborne Parish. Call Columbia County Ambulance today to schedule your installation. Hey friends, Lucas Cheatham here. Well, we finally made it to 2021 and you know what they say, new year means new you. That's where my mom, Christy, and her staff at HealthQuest Therapy come in. If you need help with pain or an injury, HealthQuest Therapy is here for you. The professionals at HealthQuest Therapy provide physical, occupational, and speech therapy and will help you get back on track. Visit healthquesttherapy.net or call HealthQuest Therapy today at 870-234-2255. Doctors Chambliss and Davis and Lynn Wilkerson have made adjustments to keep you safe and still give the best care possible with the transition to phone and telemedicine visits. All routine visits such as follow-ups, medication refills, or wellness and general checkups will be seen 8.30 to 11 a.m. All sick visits from 1 to 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday, 12 to 2 on Fridays. If you have fever, please call the medical staff to tell them you're there, then stay in your car till they call you. Find more information on Facebook. Doctors Chambliss and Davis and Lynn Wilkerson, thank you for your cooperation. They say great barbecue is worth the wait. Well, the wait is over. The McRib sandwich is back at McDonald's. Leads. Watson Chapel 34-23 at halftime. This is the Magnolia Regional Medical Center halftime show. At the Magnolia Murphy Clinic, you always feel like family. They treat adults ages 18 and over and specialize in wellness checks and illness recovery. Call today for an appointment, 234-7101. I'm joined at uh, courtside uh, by uh, Chris uh, Carter and Chris, uh, after an early 5 nothing lead by Watson Chapel, Magnolia has really pretty much dominated this game. Yeah, you know, Emswiller going out with three fouls in the middle of the second quarter didn't, didn't help Watson Chapel's cause. And then they have another one that's not a bad player. I uh, can't think of his name off the top of my head. It's gone with three fouls right now. So that always helps when you can get their better players in foul trouble where they can't be as aggressive down low. And, uh, and, we can, and then we can take it at them. So uh, so far, so good. So far, so good. It's a uh, 11 point advantage for Magnolia. And right now, Darian Ford, it looks like Magnolia Church trying to get him the ball and let him do his thing. Yeah, Darian, uh, Darian has a really quick first two steps. And if he can get anybody on their heels, he's going to beat them. And he's going to beat them with a spin move to the baseline, or he's going to beat them to the spin move to the middle of the key and pull up and hit a little six or eight foot jump shot or be real aggressive and take it to the basket where he's uh, scored six or eight points off the glass down low. So you give Darian Ford the ball and give him an opportunity to get that first step on somebody, he's going to beat them every time. In the last game against Watson Chapel last week in the finals of the district tournament, it looked like Magnolia was able to hit all their outside shots. They were they were attacking from the outside on the three-point shots, and that really opened things up inside. Tonight, they're not even waiting for no. that. They're just going to Darian and letting him drive to the basket. Yeah, Darian. If the shot not there, kicking it back outside. That, that's right, and that's not a bad game plan. Again, you know, I, I'm glad Darian Ford is on our team. <laughs> yeah. You know, one of the top-rated players in the nation in basketball only as a junior, and um, – in game time situations exactly like this one, you want him to have the ball. Yeah, Dar- and, uh, and Kobe Garland, same way. Yeah, goes. Darian Ford with 16 points. Garland, he's got nine so far. Navy Tell with six. Adrian Walker has three. And uh, that is basically the scoring right now for Magnolia. Magnolia led by just one after one quarter, 16-15, but outscored at Watson Chapel 18-8 to in that second period. Yeah, that's, that, that's more of our speed, our basketball play you know, to get people on their heels and then go right at them. And, uh, and that's how we can create separation and scoring is when we get them backed up and we get them on the opposite side of the ball, we're going to go at them. And, and they're going to have to stop us. And so far, so good, 34-23 at half, up 11. That's a good, that's a good thing. Yeah, that is a real good thing. For Watson Chapel in the first half, Kamani Cooper with a three-pointer has nine points 
Chris uh, Fountain, you mentioned him before the game at the pregame show. Very good score. Came off the bench and, and had uh, seven points very quickly. I like him. He's got eight points so far tonight. And then after that, it really drops off. Uh, Carmen Wilkins with a three and uh, M. Sweller with only two points. And that's all the scoring so far for the Wildcats. I like that Christopher Fountain young man. He's, he's a very kind young man. I remember when we played them at our place, he'd come to the score table and he was yes, sir, and no, sir. He's real low key. You know, no attention drawn to him, but he's a silent but great player. You know, he'd come off the bench, and what does he have, six or eight points right now? He's got eight right now. Eight yes. right now. He, he could be really deadly from outside if, if we give him a chance. Yeah, Fountain only a junior. Uh, Keyshawn Brown is a sophomore. And then also uh, they've, they've got uh, uh, another junior on the team is Hampton Hall and a sophomore, and I mentioned Cooper, and uh, M. Sweller, just a junior. So this yeah. is a, a team that's got a lot of players coming back, just like Magnolia that's does. Right. So that's right. I, I look for these two teams next year to also have some good contests. No doubt about it. You know, I've said this, and the first time I saw M. Sweller play in our arena, I thought, my goodness, he needs to be playing tight end for somebody. 6'7", <laughs> six, 6'8", six, built like he is. You know, he's, he's a tough player. But that also proves to the fact that he's also having to sit on the bench now because he's in foul trouble. So all of that plays into our favor in the second half for sure. And I look forward to a big second half. I'm looking forward to it as well. It's 34-23. This is the Magnolia Regional Medical Center Halftime Show. We're going to take a break. And when we come back, we'll have our Bodka Bank Panther Spotlight right after this. They say great barbecue is worth the wait. Well, the wait is over. The McRib sandwich is back at McDonald's. If you haven't tried it, here are the barbecue basics. Start with tender, juicy, real pork and a hint of Memphis-style smoke and seasoning. Slather it in a sweet, smoky sauce for a taste of Kansas City. Top it with crispy pickles and slivered onions for a touch of North Carolina tang. Put it all on a toasted homestyle bun for a sandwich so barbecue it can only be called McRib. Here for a limited time only. More of that one-of-a-kind taste to love. So what are you waiting for at participating McDonald's? Become one of the many satisfied patients who use Prince Pharmacy in Magnolia. Refilling your prescriptions is easy with Prince Pharmacy's new mobile app. You can also refill or transfer prescriptions on their new website, PrincePharmacyRx.com. Prince Pharmacy still has their 24-hour refill line, too. Call 234-7292 anytime. Prince Pharmacy also has a convenient drive through and free delivery in the Magnolia city limits. See how they make a difference at Prince Pharmacy and the Southern Medical Group Clinic at 2 11 East Stadium in Magnolia. In 2009, the Greenhouse Cottages of Wentworth Place became the first long-term care facility in Arkansas to offer the greenhouse concept. Now, 10 years later, Wentworth continues. I'm Mark Trout, joined by Chris Carter, and it's time now for our Panther Spotlight, brought to you by Bodka Bank in Magnolia and Stamps, serving us in South Arkansas since 1903. Local bank, local people. Stop by and tour their brand new full service bank on North Jackson in Magnolia. Our Panther Spotlight player tonight is none other than Mr. Colby Garland, a junior who's playing here tonight. Has, uh, we mentioned, uh, nine points in the first half. Colby has a 3.5 GPA. He is a five year starter for Panther basketball. He enjoys spending time with family and friends and hasn't yet decided on uh, where he plans to go to college or what he plans to major in. I tell you, Chris. I used to coach upward basketball. I had Colby on my team one year. I was the best coach. He made it's you hard, look good. Hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs> I knew basketball when I had Colby on. He, he was he was so much fun to have on the team. He was like you say, yes sir and no sir. And, well, don't and be so offended good. by this, but he overcame coaching, right? Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I no. trust you. He was good despite he, his coaching, not because of it. Colby Garland is one phenomenal young man. He's got a great attitude. He's a has a lovely personality. He's very intelligent and. The sky is the limit for somebody like Kobe, who he can joke around with you and uh, smile and, and just from a good family. And you know, his dad was a was an all-star athlete at Magnolia too. I believe his dad played on a state championship team, if I'm not mistaken, in the 90s. But Kobe, uh, Kobe's a wonderful young man and we're glad that he's on our team. We certainly are glad. He is, uh, you know, he, he and uh, Darian together, they, they are such a tandem out oh, there. Yeah. It's so hard to stop. You can't stop just one of them. You leave the other one open, you have to guard both. That's right. So Colby Garland is our Panther Spotlight. Panther Spotlight is a service of Bodka Bank, serving us in South Arkansas since 1903. We're gonna take a break and when we come back, we'll have our second half right after this. In 2009, the Greenhouse Cottages of Wentworth Place became the first long-term care facility in Arkansas to offer the greenhouse concept. 
Now 10 years later, Wentworth continues to be an industry leader. Wentworth has been able to maintain their five-star status, the highest rating attainable by CMS. Wentworth offers both short-term rehab and long-term care beds. If you would like a tour of the cottages at Wentworth, stop by and see us on the Warning Springs Road or give us a call at 870-234-1361. Star City, Watson Chapel will inbounds right in front of our table. Damani Cooper with uh, nine points will inbound for the Wildcats. Gets it in to Brown. Keyshawn Brown has the ball. Wildcats moving right to left here in the second half. Pull up jumper on the baseline for Cooper. Gets the top of the rim, no good. Inchweller with the rebound. Does not go. Battle for the rebound, and Magnolia comes away with it. Not sure why they didn't call a out of bounds that time as the ball hit the top of the backboard, but uh, didn't happen. Nevertheless, Magnolia comes away with the rebound and has the basketball up by 11, 34-23. Magnolia with the weed. Darian Ford, top of the key. Spin move, top of the lane. Here's Darian Ford in the lane. Has the ball knocked away. Batted around, Inswiller comes out with it. Pass up ahead to Wilkins. Wilkins wants to drive inside. Wilkins going up against Devontae Walker. Wilkins looking for the foul, loses the ball out of bounds. No foul called, and now the officials conferring. No foul called, but they do award possession to the Wildcats. So Watson Chapel will inbounds on the baseline. 7-13, fans for Magnolia don't like it. Fans for Watson Chapel do like it. Funny how that works out. Here is Brown driving inside. His shot will not go. Devontae Walker at the rebound, up ahead to Darian. Ford has it, right side. Wants to drive inside, gets it to Garland. Top of the key, left open. Three-pointer on the way, good. Colby Garland, his third three of the night. He's got 12 points. And Magnolia enjoys its biggest lead at 14. 37-23, 6.45 remaining. Third period. Brown out front working against Adrian Walker. Now uh, Adrian Walker gonna be called for a foul. Kind of a silly foul that time, just reaching in. Does Adrian Walker official right there on top of it. Easy call, bad foul. I bet Adrian wishes he had that one back to, to do over. 37-23, Panthers on top by 14. Cooper with the basketball, gives off to M. Sweller. Back to Cooper for three on the way short. Rebound comes out to Ford. Darian with the basketball, pushing the pace into the front court. Darian wants to drive inside, cut off by Emsweller, gives off to Garland. Garland back to Ford, thought about the three, guarded by Emsweller way outside. Emsweller, that'd make a great picture with the look on Emsweller's face working against Darian Ford. Now Ford kicks it out to Garland. Garland, top of the key, back to Ford. He'll put up the three, jumper on the way, hits the iron, no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds. Last touch, I believe, by Watson Chapel. The look on M. Sweller's face playing defense, that was awesome, wasn't it, Coach? I think those guys play with each other in <laughs> AAU basketball in the summer. M. Sweller's a very aggressive player. 6'8", I mean, the guy's built like a tight end. He was looking like, I dare you to do it. And now the inbound play, Devontae Walker takes the pass up off the glass. Good. Devontae Walker with the easy basket. His first point of the night. Magnolia leads by 16, 39, 23. And this game very similar to the game we saw just a week ago in Magnolia. Fairly close in the first quarter or two and then Magnolia pulling away in the second half. Adrian Walker again working against Brown. Over to Cooper, Cooper goes up for two. Shot is good. Kamani Cooper having a nice game tonight. He's got 11 points to lead Watson Chapel. Adrian Walker brings it into the front court for Magnolia. Over to Navy Tell, hands off to Garland. Garland drives inside, pull up for two, is good. Colby Garland, he's got 14. Darian with 16, and the Panthers lead 41-25. Matching their biggest lead, back to 16. Now a whistle and a foul called against Watson Chapel. That's gonna go against Hall. Hampton Hall will draw the foul. First team foul for Watson Chapel. Now we've got a whistle and a timeout. So we'll take one as well, 41-25, Panthers lead. We're back right after this. Once upon a time in a convenience store, a woman asked, which zero-calorie drink will I like more? 
The cashier said, I have a thought. Coke Zero Sugar always hits the spot. The taste made her heart fill with laughter. And with her Coke Zero Sugar, she lived happily ever after. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, unbelievably delicious. No trip to the store is complete without the unbelievably delicious zero-calorie taste of Coke Zero Sugar. Welcome back, everyone, to Star City. I'm Mark Brown, joined by Chris Carter of Magnolia High School with principal. And right now, Magnolia on top, 41-25. Stay tuned, bowling game for the Farm Bureau post-game show. Farm Bureau has a new deductible rewards program that rewards our safe drivers with earning percentage credits on their deductible. It's the only rewards program of its kind in the state. To learn more, just go to AFBIC.com slash drive down for more information. It's going to be Magnolia basketball in the backcourt. Darian inbounds to Adrian Walker. Five minutes remaining, third period. Kansas up by 16. Walker tries to feed Darian inside. Pass tipped away. Here's a nice little uh, floater in the lane. And that's going to be a bucket for Watson Chapel. Wilkins with the basket. Lead down to 14. 41 27. Garland gets it off to Devontae Walker. Right side long cross court pass. Adrian Walker left alone. He'll drive the baseline. Reverse layup. Just misses. Rebound chased down by Hall. Hall gives off in the backcourt to Brown. Up ahead it goes. Here's Wilkins in the front court. Jumper for Cooper in the corner. Will not go. Nice jump by Darian Ford to grab the rebound. Up ahead to Garland. Gives off to Navy. Navy goes up. Little pump fake in the air. Does not go. Rebound to Watson Chapel. Fast paced game at the moment. Wilkins has it. He backs it out as we slow down and catch our breath for just a moment. Wilkins with the basketball, driving inside off the glass. Nice move by Kamani Cooper. And Cooper with 13 points. 41-29. Lead down to 12. Now a whistle and a timeout called by the Panthers. 3.43 left. We'll take a break. Back right after this. At Farmers Bank and Trust, we know banking isn't always top of mind. You've got other things to focus on, like getting the kids to soccer practice or mowing the lawn or grocery shopping. But our products and services are designed to fit your schedule and needs. From online and mobile banking to convenient hours and locations, Farmers Bank and Trust is easy banking for busy living. To learn more, stop by your local branch today or visit myfarmers.bank. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Back to Star City, Magnolia holds a 12-point lead over Watson Chapel. 41-29 our score. This is the regional final in the South region. Magnolia looking to win its second consecutive region tournament. Winner plays on Thursday at 1 in the state tournament at Moralton next week. The loser will play on Wednesday. Garland with the basketball for Magnolia. Top of the key, wants to drive inside, and that's going to be a charge called against Garland. Lowered his shoulder and tried to drive around Brown. Good job by Kamani, uh, Deshaun Brown to take the charge. 3.27 to play third period. The foul turns the ball over to Watson Chapel once again. Wildcats have a chance to cut it to 10 or even 9. Three-pointer on the way by Cooper. A little short. Rebound comes off to Adrian Walker. Walker on the run. Panthers into the front court quickly. Wildcats back defensively, and Magnolia will have to slow it down, set the offense. Navy Tell out near half court. Now has things the way he wants, and here comes Magnolia. Garland inside the Ford. Ford inside the lane. Goes up, shot a little short, but draws the foul. Darian Ford will step to the free throw line to shoot two. Ford with 16 points all in the first half, looking for his first points in the second half. Hit his last two free throws before halftime. First shot on the way, rims out, no good. Darian Ford 
eyeing the basket for his second shot. Free throw on the way. This one is good. So Darian with 17 points tonight, 256 remaining. Keshawn Brown will bring it down court for the Wildcats. 250 to play third quarter. Panthers on top, 42-29. Cooper, left side, wants to drive inside, working against Garland. In the lane, in and out, shot will not go. Rebound chased down by Navy Tail in the backcourt. Nice job by Navy Tail. I'm always amazed how many rebounds he gets. It's amazing. He and Adrian Walker, two shortest players on the team for Magnolia. Garland thought about the three, now will put one up. Off the mark this time, Garland gets his own rebound. In the lane, goes up, floater is good. Colby Garland with the two, having a nice second half. Seven points here in the second half. He's got 16 for the game, and Magnolia back on top by 15, 44, 29. Fountain wants to drive the baseline, goes up off the glass. Shot will not go. Devontae Walker with the rebound for Magnolia. Gives off the Navy tail. Panthers walking it down courts. With a 15-point advantage, under two minutes to play in the third quarter. Panthers just a little over eight minutes away from winning the South Region Championship. Darian Ford thought about the long three. That would have been way downtown. Instead, pull up on the baseline is good. Darian Ford from about 15 feet out gets the two. And Ford gives Magnolia its biggest lead at 17 points, 46-29. Ford with 19 points tonight. Wilkins with the basketball. Thought about the three, gives off the fountain, top of the key. Around it goes, Hall has it to Brown. Brown out front to Cooper. Cooper, back to Brown. Thought about the long three, instead wants to drive against Adrian Walker in the lane, pull up jumper. Off the back of the iron, no good. Rebound, chased down by Garland. Garland into the front court, Panthers on top. Less than a minute to play third quarter. Whistle and a blocking foul call as both Adrian Walker and the Watson Chapel player trying to catch the number on that. I believe it's Brown. And uh, Brown will pick up the foul. That's going to be his fourth as Inswiller will check back in for Watson Chapel. This is not a shooting foul. Magnolia will inbounds with 54.2 seconds remaining. Third quarter, Panthers with a 17-point advantage, 46-29. Panthers looking for the inbounds play. Long inbounds pass now. Comes to Adrian Walker. Adrian hands off to Devontae. Out front to Navy Tell. Magnolia, will they hold it for one shot? They don't slow it down very often, but they might slow it down here up by 17. Devontae Walker with the ball. Now drives inside. Devontae Walker goes up. Gets the basket, and a uh, foul called against Watson Chapel, Hampton Hall. Hall trying to set up for the charge, mostly acting that time, I thought, and Hall is going to be called for the foul. Devontae Walker with a chance at a three-point play, and Magnolia on top by 19 points, 48-29. Stay tuned after the game as we name our People's Bank player of the game. People's Bank offers curbside banking at all three locations. They can take care of any of your banking needs while maintaining social distancing with convenient curbside banking. Give it a try, member FDIC. Devontae nails the free throw. Five points for Devontae all here in the third quarter. And the Panthers up by 20, 49-29, under 30 seconds to play third quarter. Wilkins with the basketball. Gives off to Cooper, to Fountain, out front. Fountain. Gives off the Hall. Hall back to Wilkins. Wilkins guarded by Darian Ford. Wilkins to Hall. Hall lost it momentarily. Needs a little help. Somehow he uh, picks up the basketball, gives off the fountain in the corner. His three will not go. And that's going to do it. That's a three quarters. Our score Magnolia 49, Watson Chapel 29. We'll be back with the fourth and final quarter right after this. All your automotive needs in one stop at Spittler Tire and Auto. Spittler Tire and Auto has nine service bays and a full team of top-notch mechanics. Their years of experience is just what your ride needs to get back to peak performance. Trust Spittler Tire and Auto with your tires, brakes, alignments, mufflers, oil changes, tune-ups, and more. Whatever your car or truck needs, they'll get it done right at Spittler Tire and Auto in the Dairy Queen Shopping Center at 521 East Main in Magnolia.
The Magnolia Home Health Agency is a service of Magnolia Regional Medical Center. Their goal is to teach patients and families independence and knowledge of their health and to keep them in the community. Magnolia Home Health is a Medicare certified agency. They accept referrals from hospitals, physicians, and rehab facilities for qualifying individuals residing within a 35-mile radius. They offer skilled nursing, physical therapy, and point-of-care documentation. Call the Magnolia Home Health Agency at 870-235-3598. Back to Star City, where we're set to begin fourth quarter play. Panthers have slowly pulled away from Watson Chapel after trailing early 5 0. Panthers now lead it by 20, 49 29. And it's going to be Adrian Walker to inbounds right in front of us. Always excited when the players inbounds right in front of our table. I always like that. Garland on the left wing feeds. Ford in the lane, goes up, shot not there, and Ford takes a tumble on the rebound, whistle, and I believe Darian Ford's going to be called for going over the back on the rebound. Darian Ford can't believe it. I believe the officials may have gotten that one right, Chris. It looked like a pretty good call that time. The Watson Chapel fans wanted a uh, charging foul against Ford. Watson Chapel must spend a lot of time working on taking charges because their their kids know how to how to look when they take a charge. And right now we've got, I believe, the official asking Darian Ford to clean up the spot where he fell. I've never seen this before, Chris, where the official asked the player who fell to clean up his own sweat. Darian is a nice kid, and he's not going to say no to anything. And he, he's a very good sportsman. Have you ever seen that before? Where I the can't, the I official can't do pulled that. Darian back down to clean up his own his own mess, and it's going to be Watson Chapel ball. 49-29. There's a first for everything in every game, folks. Wilkins with the ball, thought about the three, gets a screen out front by Emsweller, drives the lane, shot will not go. Emsweller with the rebound goes up, can't get the shot to fall, but draws the foul. Emsweller to the line tonight for the first time. Emsweller has been in foul trouble. He's got just two points. And Emsweller talking to the officials about something. I think, uh, I'm not sure what they're talking about that time. Anyway, it's a two shot foul coming up for Emsweller. First free throw on the way is no good. Hits the front of the iron. Magnolia fans like that. Now the officials pointing to something on the floor. Are oh, they going to ask Emsweller to clean up something on the floor here? I'm not, I'm not sure what they're looking at. They're asking. I think he may have blood on his shorts. And you can't play. So Emsweller is going to have to come out with blood on his shorts. And Hampton Hall will check in to shoot the free throw. Unbelievable <laughs> how we got one free throw. Savoy from Anglia said just put on some new shorts. Second free throw, this time by Hampton Hall is good. Wow. <laughs> so Hall gets a free throw. Watson Chapel gets a point in Magnolia's lead cut to 19. 49-30, fourth quarter. Magnolia on its way to a South Region Tournament Championship for the second consecutive time. And now a whistle and a foul called. I believe that's going to go against Carmen Wilkins. Inbounds play for Magnolia. Comes out to Devontae Walker near the top of the key. Cross court pass to Navy Tell, and Navy will back it out for the Panthers as we near the seven minute mark left to play in this one. Tell working against Mountain. Tell, a good ball handler if ever there was one. Tell gives up to Garland. Looks like Magnolia may look to take a little time off the clock here. Garland will drive it inside in the lane, tries to kick it out, and a whistle and a foul, I believe, going against Chris Mountain. Fountain reached in, tried to get the ball away. Got some ball, some arm, and that's going to be enough for a foul. Chris Fountain will send Garland to the free throw line. I didn't realize that was going to be a free throw shooting uh, situation. Garland hits the first. And Garland with 19 points. Excuse me with 16 points, make it 17. Just change it on the scoreboard here. 
Garland eyes the basket, second free throw up and in. Garland, three of three at the free throw line tonight. He's got 18 points. Darian Ford with 19 points. And Magnolia on top, 51-30. Biggest lead of the night. Darian Ford reaching in, gets the ball, also gets the foul. Ford's foul will be the 14th, I'm making 15th foul against Magnolia. Damani Cooper will inbound right in front of us. Gets it in to Brown. Brown will set the offense for the Wildcats. Trailing by 21 points with six and a half left to play in Star City. Magnolia, if they can hold on here, they'll win the South Region for the second consecutive year. Here's Insweller goes up, gets the shot on the little hook shot, draws the foul, nice move by Insweller. And Chris, that's really the Insweller we saw in the, in the first meeting between these two teams. Yeah, that's aggressive basketball for a guy that's 6'8". That's the kind of basketball play you want out of somebody like him. That was a heck of an athletic move under sure the basket was. to kind of change heads and put up a little hook shot. Free throw on the way, good. M. Sweller with the bucket and the foul. Three point play and 51-33. Magnolia leads, that's the 18. M. Sweller, one of two at the free throw line. Darian Ford in the lane. Looks like he was hammered inside, no foul. I'm not sure how that doesn't draw a foul. Looked like both arms were hit as he went up for the basket. You yeah, might want to do some x-rays after that one. No foul, inbounds pass to Darian Force Goes up, has it blocked by Insular. Nice play by Insular. Jump ball called and the possession arrow favoring Watson Chapel. Wildcats with the basketball, trailing by 18. Six minutes and change left to play, Insular. Wants to drive inside against Devontae Walker. Goes up for the slam, but a whistle first. And now there's going to be a technical foul called on Insweller after he was called for a foul, I believe. And if that's so, that's going to be his fifth. He's going to be out. Insweller can't believe it. And that's a foul, Chris, because he dunked it after the play was over. Yes, a technical foul after, after the play was blown dead. He went ahead and dunked the basketball. That's a technical foul. You can't Every do that. Every time, yeah. Emsoil, I believe that's going to be his fifth foul. I think it's his fourth. Fourth foul? I thought he had three and got two on that play. He got the personal and the technical, right? I think that was, was his fifth. It, okay, if a foul was called on him and then the technical foul, yeah, that would be his I fifth foul. I think that was his fifth foul. I believe that's right. And the official saying four. I thought that was five, but uh, I think you had it right, Chris. Marcus Adams looks for Watson Chapel. About to come unglued over there. He can't believe it. You don't want to lose too much energy, lose too much of your coaching energy yelling at officials when you're down by 20 late in the game. Yeah. You I still want to coach, but I, there's no reason really to argue this one. No, and I didn't, I didn't realize that personal foul was on him. I yeah. thought it was a walking violation. No, it was a personal foul. They called him for the offensive foul and then the technical foul against M. Sweller as well. Yeah, well, that'll still, make his fifth person. Yeah, officials still trying to sort this out. Yeah, that was two fouls, one possession on M. Sweller. He's going to have to sit for the rest of this one. Again, it, it, I think it's you know academic now, as they say, 5.57 to play, Magnolia up by 18. Colby Garland at the line, that's almost as good as two points. I don't necessarily agree with the technical foul call for the momentum and the dunk. I mean, you know, it's a passion and the heat of the moment. I mean, the foul's called and he goes up and dunks the basketball with authority, I might add. But, uh, you know, I don't know if I agree with the technical on, the, on, on something like that. It was right after the foul was called. First free throw by Colby is good. And Chris, I don't know if you heard it, one of the Magnolia fans yelled the scoreboard's wrong. <laughs> the score is wrong. So they're, they're still having some fun with last night's game. Second free throw on the way is good. Garland hits both. Magnolia back on top by 20. 
excuse me, by 19, 52, 33. I thought he hit two free throws. Now they got the score right, 53, 33. Chris, what are, you had something to say there. No, I have nothing to say, <laughs> Mark, got, when it comes to the scoreboard. Score, got, got it right this time, so that's good. Darian Ford, Magnolia gets the ball after the technical foul. Darian Ford has it out front. Navy tail with the ball. We're under five minutes, excuse me, under six minutes to play, 5.40 to go. Magnolia leads at 53-33. Unless something bizarre happens down the stretch, which could happen while we've seen the last couple of days. Magnolia will win the South Region. They'll be in action on Thursday, state tournament at one o'clock in Moralton. And we'll talk in a few minutes, Chris, about when fans can look to buy tickets for that one. Garland with the ball out front, guarded by Chris Fountain. Garland wants to drive it inside. Garland goes up in the lane, shot partially blocked. Devontae Walker wrestles away the rebound, scramble for a loose ball. Watson Chapel comes out with it. Chris Fountain had it, and Magnolia's Navy tail knocked it out of bounds. Almost lands in the lap of the Watson Chapel coach. Ball will belong to Watson Chapel on the far side. Hall to inbounds. Gets it to Brown. Now here's Cooper for three. Hits the back of the rim. No good. Rebound. Tipped away by Ford. He chases it down. And Darian Ford with the basketball. Ford. He's got 19 points. And will draw a foul here as he tries to dribble around. I think it was called on Chris Fountain. And will send Darian to the free throw line to shoot a one and one. First free throw on the way. Rims out, no good. Fountain there for the rebound. And only a little pressure in the backcourt, not much. He's dropping back now as Brown brings it down court for the Wildcats. Brown, top of the key, three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebound to Hall, goes back up. Gets it over the rim and good. That was Shaw, excuse me, Shaw with the bucket. And Magnolia loses it, taken away by Brown. Up ahead, bounce pass to Cooper. Cooper in the lane, goes up off the glass, not there. Fountain with the rebound. Reverse layup. Somehow got that one to go. Cooper with the bucket. Navy Tell with the ball in the front court from Magnolia and a whistle from behind. And Chris, maybe it's just me, but does the PA announcer here seem a little more excited for Watson Chapel than they do for Magnolia? Well, this is supposed to be a neutral side game. You're supposed to be neutral. Uh, anytime you have a public address announcer who's hosting a tournament, even if their teams are playing in it, you have to be neutral. Uh, but I will say this, he's much better than the first one we had the first two nights. Navy Till hits his first free throw. Second one on the way, bounces around, falls through good. Navy with eight points on the night, Panthers up 55-37. Four minutes exactly remaining here to play. Four minutes away from getting that championship trophy are the Magnolia Panthers. Watson Chapel with the basketball. Wilkins has it. Gives off to Cooper, and Cooper, a nice little move in the lane. Kamani Cooper, just a sophomore. Chris, I'm not looking forward to seeing him play in the future against us. He's a very talented player. Navy Tell gets it to Garland all alone. Pull up on the baseline. Good. Easy little 10 footer for Colby Garland. Garland with 22 points tonight to lead all scores, and Magnolia leading 57-39. Three-pointer on the way by Cooper. Damani Cooper nails it as he falls to the ground. 57-42 as we near the three-minute mark remaining in the championship game. Garland, the Navy tail, back to Garland out front. Three minutes exactly remaining. Back to Navy tails. Magnolia taking a little time off the clock with each possession. Tell dribbles between two defenders, gets it to Ford. Ford in the lane, lost it momentarily, picks it up, off the glass, good. Darian Ford, first points in the fourth quarter. Darian with 21 points, now a whistle and an official timeout. 
Not sure what happened. Cooper bent over momentarily. And he's going to go to the bench momentarily, talking to his head coach. I didn't see anything happen. But Cooper is going to go to the dressing room. It looks like. Did you see what happened, Chris? No, I think he's just sick. I think he's tired. Sick in his stomach. He has played a lot tonight. And it is uh, kind of warm in here. You see all the players, uh, they've worked up a pretty good sweat tonight. Inbounds pass comes to Wilkins. And Wilkins into the front court. Two and a half left to play in this contest. Pull up for Wilkins for two, not there. Adrian Walker trying for the rebound, knocks it out of bounds. Last touch by Adrian. And the Wildcats will inbounds on the baseline. And Wilkins already back, excuse me, Cooper already back on the floor. Two and a half left. Cooper just wanted to come back out for the final moments of this one. Joss at the inbounds for Watson Chapel gets it way out front to Wilkins. Off to Cooper. Cooper with the basketball looking for the screen. Whistle and a foul called against Devontae Walker. 20-point ball game, Chris. I'm not sure we needed that foul called here. Leading, leading by 20 points. I think we could have played on, as they say, here in that situation. Panthers up 59-42. Uh, Free throw on the way is good by Cooper. Cooper's had a nice night tonight for the Wildcats. Second free throw also good. Cooper four of four at the free throw line. And Watson Chapel now with some pressure in the backcourt. First time tonight they've had any kind of pressure in the backcourt. Garland has the ball taken away. Pass ahead goes to Fountain. And now a layup by Wilkins is good. Excuse me, by Cooper is good. Cooper with the basket. Put the Magnolia lead 59 46. Time I call. We'll be back right after this. Open hand. How about one you can actually shake? At Farm Bureau Insurance, that's exactly what you get. There's a local agent like me in every county, and we're passionate about helping our local communities thrive. For me, it's more than a job, it's a calling. I'm Steven Zorsch. Call me at 234-1966 for an auto, home, or life insurance quote and learn more about how Farm Bureau Insurance can save you time and money. That's Stephen Zorsch at 234-1966. Southern Medical Group continues to take extra precautions to reduce the spread of COVID-19. Southern Medical Group's new respiratory clinic is open. The clinic treats patients with respiratory illness, fever, cough, shortness of breath, suspected COVID-19 or exposure. Patients, please park on the left side of the building and give us a call to check in. You will then be escorted to an alternative entrance. Please do not enter the main building. Let's keep all patients safe. Thank you for allowing our family to take care of yours. Back at Star City, just 2.07 remaining. The Panthers on top by 13, 59 of 46. Panthers have led by as many as 22. Up ahead, it goes to Garland. Garland has the ball, gives off to Darian Ford. Ford will dribble it outside now as Magnolia just taking time off the clock. Pass underneath goes to Devontae Walker, whistle, and a foul called, offensive foul called against Magnolia. Goes against Darian Ford, his fourth personal. If there's more time on the clock, I'd be a little concerned here as Watson Chapel keeps cutting away. Three-pointer on the way, misses everything, does Cooper. And Cooper gets the frequent call of air ball that you hear after a player does, in fact, shoot an air ball. A little pressure in the backboard, a minute 37 to go. Up ahead to Darian Ford. Ford gets it to Garland on the break. Garland, easy layup. Garland with 24 points on the night. Panthers up, 61-46. Here's the ball taken away by Magnolia. 2-1-1 break. 
Colby Garland finger roll layup is good. Ford could have taken it. Unselfish play. The Panthers always so unselfish with the basketball. 63-46. Chris Fountain with the ball backing in against Adrian Walker off the glass. Nice move by Chris Fountain. Fountain's first points here in the second half had eight at halftime. One minute remaining here in the first in the uh, fourth quarter. Panthers will win tonight. Navy Tell with the ball. Panthers holding a 15-point lead, 63-48. 45 seconds to play. Magnolia fans on their feet behind us, showing their appreciation of this Magnolia Panthers squad. What a year they have had. This has been such a delightful season. Panthers playing well despite the pandemic, despite the reduced number of fans in the home games. They have come out and played. They've had to play through the coronavirus a couple of times, missed a game or two, had some games canceled. But tonight, uh, they are seeing all the hard work paying off as they are about to win the South Region Tournament. They're in Ford with the basketball. Ford, seven seconds left. Six, five, Hampton Hall and Darian Ford just uh, kind of agreed to not do anything here. And there it is. The buzzer ending the game, Magnolia wins it 63-48. Panthers improved to 22-0 this year, and the winning streak grows by one more. 53-0 are the Panthers over the last couple of seasons. Panthers are the two-time defending champs now of the South Region. And uh, Chris, what a game we had tonight. It was an excellent basketball game. We came out and played hard. Uh, again, I go back to the adversity piece of last night. Um, when uh, we uh, were playing against uh, five starters for Monticello and a scorebook keeper. But at the end of the day, it's, it's the game that you have to play. So uh, I think that that might have helped our game a little bit. Pinned us against the wall last night. We overcame that, and tonight we came out and played hard. I know you just win tonight, and they are the uh, South Region champions in Class 4A. 63 48 our score. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have our Farm Bureau post game show right after this. Go Pro at Subway in Magnolia. Go Pro to get double the protein for just $2 more. You can go Pro on your favorite foot long or go Pro with Subway's new protein bowl. Go Pro for only $2 more for a limited time. Go Pro while you can at Subway on East Main in Magnolia and at the Subway inside Walmart. And don't forget to download the Subway app. You can earn rewards while you eat at Subway in Magnolia. Rocket Fast Car Wash. Rocket Fast. It's a blast. And your vehicle is clean. the Class 4A South Region Tournament. Final score 63-48 over Watson Chapel. And uh, this is the Farm Bureau post game show. Talk to your local Farm Bureau insurance agents, Mike Jones, Steven Zorsch, Jeff Hansen, and Brett Blair for all your insurance needs. Magnolia improves to 22-0 this season. The winning streak stretches to 52 consecutive games. 
Chris, we talked about it before the game. You said the state record is a 61. Currently, the the most consecutive wins in uh, in, a, in a, any high school basketball uh, for any high school team is West Memphis in the late 80s, where they had 61, and then in the mid 90s, I'll let you guess. Stevens. Stevens, yeah. right down the road. Heck of, a, heck of a team. Oh my! They had the Glover brothers back then. Yeah. They were One really of them played good. for Butler, I believe, but outstanding basketball group. Both of those schools are at 61. We are now currently sitting at 52, which is third. 53. Uh, excuse 53. me. 53. 53, which is third behind West Memphis and Stevens. So if Magnolia were to go on and win the state tournament, they would have a chance next season, early next season, to break that uh, record. Right. And, and as, you, as you look at it now, there's three games left. Well, that'll put us at 56. So, yes, it'll have to happen next year if we continue to talk about consecutive wins. And, of um, course, for that, for that to happen, though, Magnolia's going to have to go through a very tough draw in the state tournament. There's some very good teams out there. Yes. I'm not sure some fans are aware. Blytheville, very talented. Mills, Little Rock Mills, they're as good as always. Morrillton. Morrillton, the home team, they're going to be a monster to face. Morrillton has the 6'11 kid that transferred from Conway. Um, that plays down low, he plays outside, so he's gonna to be tough. Morton's gonna to be tough at their place. So it, it's gonna be a tough draw. And then you never know, you might face Monticello again, you might face Watson Chapel again. It's possible, I mean, these, you know, the uh, 8-4-A swept the region tournament in the first round. Yeah. 7-4-A didn't win a game. So you see how tough our tournament is. And uh, Magnolia, you know, they win it again. So they face good competition. And you mentioned the adversity last night, how important it was to play a, a tough game like that and, and have that challenge. We remember last year in the state tournament, Magnolia looked unbeatable, and they went against a Brooklyn team that took it to them. Ooh. Looked like they were gonna looked like they were gonna win the game, and somehow Magnolia pulled the rabbit out of the hat and, and won that game on a on a shot by Dravante Dismuke at the end of regulation. I don't know how he got it to go, I but somehow either. tied the game and we went to double overtime before winning it. What what a game that was, and uh, you know you don't know what's going to happen in the state tournament. Right, and and the biggest question that's going to be asked of us probably tonight and tomorrow night is when can we buy tickets? That's that's what we're going to talk uh, about tonight. So what what is the answer to that, Ticketmaster? I, yeah, I don't have one. All I know <laughs> is this: if um, if the Arkansas Activities Association holds true to what they've done over the district and regional, it'll be 24 hours prior to game time. And if we play at one o'clock on Thursday, that means Wednesday the ticket window will open for the private link to where our our kids and our staff and our community can purchase tickets to travel to Morrillton. And they have a big arena. Uh, Morrillton's got a brand new arena. I want to say it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 3,000 seats. So at 50%, you're looking at, at you know about 700 tickets, 750 tickets that can be sold to our community. So. Well, Chris, I'm not sure, you might know the answer to this or have a better idea than I do, but Magnolia will play Thursday at one, and they've got a bye to that, uh, to that quarterfinal game, and they're gonna play the winner between the number three seed in the east and the number four seed in the north. That game's gonna be played on Tuesday at one o'clock. I don't know who that is. I have no idea uh, who's in what order, but the yeah. bracket should be out tomorrow at some should time. Be. Should so, be, now that the regional finals have all wrapped up across the state. The, uh, the state tournament brackets should go out probably maybe even at midnight tonight. So that's just a website check through the Arkansas Activity Association. But I will tell you that they will put up a private link. They will send that to us and they will disseminate and we will disseminate that out to our community and our students and our fans. So fans, I want to make sure I got this right. The, the link will be on the AAA website again where they buy tickets. Is that, yes, is that right? Yes, and, and it'll probably be the GoFan.com um, link and we'll also have that on our Facebook page and our district website page as well. Okay, so fans, I hope you're listening. Uh, Chris says, you know, uh, 24 hours before the game, but I might start looking early. You know, you never know what uh, when they might stick that the link up there. You don't want to, if you're wanting to go to the game, don't wait uh, to start looking for the link. Uh, start yeah. looking, you know, here, here shortly. I, I encourage you to go ahead and start looking now. Um, and I say now, I'd say at midnight tonight, but if it holds true, 
Thursday at 1 o'clock game time will be 24 hours prior to, so that'll be 1 o'clock on Wednesday. Okay, so that's the uh, Magnolia play Wednesday, uh, excuse me, Thursday, 1 o'clock. I guess the winner between the third seed from the east, fourth seed from the north. We have no idea what those teams are, but uh, that bracket should be out tomorrow. So uh, check online tomorrow um, just uh, and find out who Magnolia will uh, be matched up against. For Watson Chapel, they'll get a, a bye as well. Uh, they'll be playing on Friday uh, in action, and they will be playing against the uh, winner between the East number two team and the third seed from the North. Yeah, and Jeff Harrington, my man Jeff, who's always Johnny on the spot, he sends me a message that says, we could meet Moralton, I guess, in what would be the semifinals um, in Moralton. So that's going to be doubly tough. Moralton's a good basketball a team, a and it's at their home place. place. At their home place. That would be next Saturday if Magnolia Correct. wins its first game. Semifinals are next Saturday. And then the finals, they're at Hot Springs again this year. Is that correct? That's right. Finals at Hot Springs the following Saturday, March 20th at 1 o'clock. So we're going to be joined now in our Farm Bureau postgame show by Magnolia head coach Ben Lindsay. And uh, Coach Lindsay, congratulations on the win tonight. Big win for you guys. And I thought the team played really well tonight. I did too. I thought, uh, again, we play Watson Chapel. They're so big and physical. Um, I just couldn't be more tickled, more proud of how we kind of rise to their level of size and, and tenacity, if you will. Um, couldn't ask for anything more. I thought the defense was a key part of it tonight. I thought the defense did a really good job, really uh, did a good job on M. Sweller and, and really slowed down after that 5-0 uh, deficit. I thought uh, we really slowed them down there in that rest of the first half and through the third quarter. Yeah, I, I felt like that also. Um, I don't know how we did on the boards tonight, but I think we did well. Uh, especially for us. We, we out-rebounded them last time. If we, if we keep it close, that, that's great for us. They're just so much bigger, and like the defense, I think defense is definitely what won it for us. M. Sweller got in early foul trouble. That, that didn't hurt matters for Magnolia. No, and, and it's a double-edged sword with him. Uh, he's a great rim protector, great rebounder, but at times they're better defensively like Garden than he is, and sometimes better offensively. They're not as one-dimensional, but uh, I mean, that's Six of one, half dozen of the other. It's kind of which way do you want to play? Yeah, exactly. And, and they've got some kids on the bench, athletic kids who can Absolutely. come in. And there's not a there's a drop down in height, but not necessarily a drop down in talent or athleticism. No, and uh, not you know, they're still bigger than us when they sub though. So <laughs> not as yeah. big, but uh, yeah, they're still bigger than us. So coach, uh, I, I thought tonight it looked like you guys the strategy early on was to feed Darian Ford with the basketball and let him drive inside, either go to the basket or kick it outside. Yeah, when, uh, I mean, it's always a good game plan to get it to Darien as much as you can. But when they came out and tried to play predominantly man, that kind of opened things up for us a little bit. And uh, after seeing two zones over here, so I, I think our guys were a little too amped up to go early on. Once we settled down, I think it was a lot better. Well, Coach, you guys have a bye to the uh, uh, – until you play in the state tournament next Thursday at right. 1 o'clock. Uh, do you have any idea who the East and 3 and North 4 is? Pretty sure the East 3 is Batesville Southside. Uh, not real sure who the North 4 is right now. Okay, so we're going to find out. Uh, maybe the brackets will be released later tonight or tomorrow, something yeah. like that. And uh, what will you guys do between now and over the next few days uh, to start getting ready for the state tournament? We'll be off tomorrow, and we'll start gathering uh, information and film on who we might play and we'll uh, go over some things we've done well, things we haven't done well, and we'll try to, um, you know, do a little bit of preparation for who we might play ahead of time. And then two. Well, Coach, it's been such an exciting <laughs> season that it's a, a crash behind us is. <laughs> scared me a little bit, not gonna yeah, lie. Scared, scared me a little bit as well. But uh, now I forgot what I was going to ask you. Uh, next week, you know, it, it, you think about this season, it's been so strange with the, you know, the COVID virus and have to maneuver and, and endure that. Uh, you guys have had to, you know, practice, have practices where, you know, early on in the summer, you couldn't even, I think you told me one time it was like a watered down junior high practice, you know, something like that. So you had to overcome that. You've had to uh, overcome some, some game delays or some games postponed or canceled, basically. You've had to overcome, uh, you know, your team having COVID uh, there for a little while. So there's been a lot of adversity this season. And, the, you know, the players seem like they've stayed positive throughout and, and have really just done a great job. They have. And, I mean, any team, any team at this point during the year, everybody's tired. It's been a long process. 
I mean, these kids still have schoolwork. They got moms and dads and brothers and sisters and things going on in their lives. And I mean, my wife and my kids, uh, I got a sick son at home. If y'all are still watching, <laughs> Gray, I hope you're feeling better, buddy. Um, Daddy'll be home soon. And you know, we all got other things going on outside of this too, which any, any year at this point in the season, it's been long and it's been tough. But especially when you, the things that you just mentioned, adding that on top of it, uh, yeah, but we're, we're thankful to all be healthy right now in, in many different ways. Not just injury free, but with everything going on right now in the world, we're glad that these 14 guys are, are healthy as well. It's been a heck of a season, great season for you guys. Second, second region title in a row. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's remarkable. Yeah, I just, Magnolia, you know, in all sports, football, baseball, basketball, track, it's been pretty good for a long, long, long time. And uh, it comes and goes in cycles like anywhere. Sure, yeah. But uh, I'm glad that we're on a pretty good cycle right now, and I couldn't be uh, more happy for, for uh, our town and our community and these kids right now. I tell you, it's been a great season. Coach, congratulations on tonight's win, and best of luck next week to you and the team in the state tournament. Thank you. Thank you very much, Coach Ben Lindsay of the Magnolia Panthers. Panthers win tonight, final score of 63-48. Panthers improved to 22-0 this season. Winning streak goes to 53 consecutive games Panthers have won. We're going to take a break. This is the Farm Bureau Post Game Show. We'll be back with our scoring summary right after this. Rocket fast, car wash. Rocket fast. It's a blast. And your vehicle is clean. Want to keep your car spotless? A Rocket Fast Unlimited Wash Pass is how you do it. Our Fast Pass is completely unlimited with no restrictions and works at all Rocket Fast locations from Monroe to Shreveport, including our newest in Magnolia, Arkansas. Join thousands of others that already enjoy their Fast Pass and keep your car clean for as little as $19.95 per month. Individual wash prices are discounted $2 every Tuesday. Rocket Fast, the fast and easy way to wash your car. As an investor, what lessons can you learn from 2020? Lesson one, the markets generally look ahead. The financial markets, after plunging, recovered from the initial shock. That's because they're anticipating a stronger economic recovery in 2021. Lesson two, opportunities often exist for investors, especially in times of market stress. Lesson three, stay invested. Investors who jumped out of the market when it fell likely missed out on the rally that followed. Talk to an Edward Jones financial advisor, Laura Kroll, Mark Woods, Steve Hardy, or Ethan Young. Edward Jones, member SIPC. Every day, people experience mysteries that challenge the laws of nature. Like enjoying a Coke Zero Sugar, it looks, sounds, and tastes delicious. But how does one explain the great taste if there are zero calories and zero sugar? Some mysteries are just too mysterious. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, unbelievably delicious. No TV binging session is complete without the unbelievably delicious zero-calorie taste of Coke Zero Sugar. over Watson Chapel 63-48. Uh, this is the Farm Bureau post-game show. And uh, leading the way tonight for Magnolia, Colby Garland, 26 points. Darian Ford, 21. What a night those two young men had, Chris. That's exactly right, Mark. It's always, it's always good to look up and see the two leading scorers in the contest be on your side of the fence. So Colby Garland have a wonderful night. Not to mention he's our Bodcall Bank Panther spotlight tonight, so it's fitting that he leads all scores with 26 points. Devontae Walker with five points. Navy Tell has eight, including a, a three-pointer. 
Uh, Adrian Walker hits a three. He's, he finishes with three points tonight. That's the uh, scoring for Magnolia. For Watson Chapel, I was impressed with Kamani Cooper, just a sophomore, had nine points at halftime, finishes with 24, and we're going to see a lot of him over the next two years. Yeah, Kamani's a good player, Mr. Cooper there. I remember calling his name at our arena. I uh, didn't know he was a sophomore, so that uh, – that means that they're junior sophomore loaded for the next, uh, I guess would be next year they'll next. be seniors and right. and, uh, and 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 juniors. So that's uh, that's not a bad thing for Watson Chapel, and it's not a good thing for Magnolia. You mentioned Chris Fountain in the pregame show, and your prediction was right on. Fountain finishes with 10 points tonight. Christopher Fountain is a good player and, and seems to be a, a good kid. So we're uh, uh, and he's a junior. You know he's he'll be back next year. Watson Chapel's gonna. They're going to wrinkle some feathers, I think, in the next uh, next couple of years. So I uh, look forward to that. Be a good contest for everybody. The big man, M. Sweller, finishes with six. It's uh, Carmen Wilkins with five. Uh, Th Thurman Shaw has two points in Hampton Hall. Makes uh, one free throw. He came in to shoot that free throw after M. Sweller was asked to leave because he had blood on his shorts. Don't think I've ever seen that right in the middle of shooting free throws after one free throw and asked to leave after after that one. But uh, unusual, but we've seen unusual stuff <laughs> this entire tournament, Chris. I'm ready to get out of Star City. <laughs> Nothing, no offense to, to anybody, but I'm ready to be back home. Well, I, I, I'm not going to argue that either. This is the Farm Bureau Post Game Show. We're going to take uh, one final time out. When we come back, we'll name our People's Bank Player of the Game right after this. Okay, let's do uh, two here, please. Farmers Bank and Trust. We know banking isn't always top of mind. You've got other things to focus on, like your family, your job, your health. But our products and services are designed to fit your schedule and needs, from online and mobile banking to convenient hours and locations. Farmers Bank and Trust is easy banking for busy living. To learn more, stop by your local branch today or visit myfarmers.bank. The j -Row Photo Senior Experience is like no other. Come join me for your entire senior year as we have unique group shoots, unmatched solo sessions, and listen, when I tell you it's throughout your whole year, it's the whole year long. It's a great time. I want to give a huge shout out to our current j -Row Photo 2021 model crew. We've had some unbelievable shoots so far, and trust me, there is way more to come. 2022 seniors, your time's coming. Hey, we've already got a few members on the team for next year. Who's next? Chapel 63, 48, and it's time now to name our People's Bank Player of the Game. And our People's Bank Player of the Game is none other than Mr. Colby Garland. He was our spotlight Panther at halftime. He was the leading scorer tonight with uh, 26 points. It's almost like we had the whole thing scripted tonight as Magnolia uh, sees Colby Garland lead the team in scoring 26 points. Uh, Colby tonight had three three-point buckets and finishes with 26 points. People's Bank will make a donation to the uh, Magnolia High School Athletics Fund in the name of Colby Garland, our player of the game. People's Bank, the only bank dedicated exclusively to Columbia County. Well, that's gonna do it for us, folks. We are back on the air uh, next week. We did get a little bit of an update. Let me give you that real quick. As uh, Chris found out a little bit about who Magnolia might play next, they're gonna play the winner between either Batesville Batesville's got one of those spots, and uh, they'll play the the other spot will be taken up by either Perryville or Darnell. So those two teams are playing tonight. Is it's, that right? It's, right now, it's Southside Batesville. Southside Batesville, and then me. it's Berryville and Darnell. So Berryville and Darnell will finish up tonight. I don't know who won that ba that basketball game. Southside Batesville beat Brooklyn um, tonight or today. So apparently they're going to have to play. Um, uh, well, in the state tournament, it'll be Berryville, Dardanell finishing up tonight, and then Southside Batesville will play the winner of that game, and then we'll play the winner of that next game. So it's kind of complicated. You can get online and check out the brackets, but uh, thanks to Jeff Harrington trying to lay all that out and Coach Marvin Lindsey, um, that's about the best we can do in such short notice on, on state tournament bracket. 
So thank you, Chris, for getting that uh, lined out for us. And uh, we want to thank you for listening tonight. What a, what a game we've had. What a tournament we've had. Uh, we've had a little bit of everything in this tournament, some we've never seen before, but it would make for some exciting basketball and some exciting broadcasts for you folks. I hope you've enjoyed it from our Star City and on Panther TV on YouTube. And what a great job Alex Teague and the kids do from, uh, from the media class. They, they, they're fantastic. It's, it's unreal, Chris. We get lots of compliments. Um, Alex Teagues and, and his staff, I'm going to call them staff, his crew uh, of, of students come and take care of the business. And we're, we're proud that we can do that for our community. And uh, we get lots of compliments, lots of positive feedback. And uh, I think it's one of the better things that we've done in Magnolia over the last couple of years. So congratulations to Mr. Teagues. It, it's fantastic. It looks great. Right. It looks fantastic. My daughter watches from Edmond, Oklahoma. And I don't know if this was broadcast the last time that we were together in during the district tournament, but one of the teams that we played um, in the district tournament, their par her parent it was a girls' game. Her parents live in Poland, and they watched in Poland, so they got to watch a basketball game. Wow. Their daughter got to play. That's amazing. And they tuned into Panthers TV and they watched from Poland. So that is unreal. Pretty neat. <laughs> that is yeah. incredible. From Poland to Magnolia. <laughs> That is how far Magnolia basketball stretches. It's amazing, and and I tell you what, they, you know, people on the air and watching TV, they get a chance to see a, a great group of kids, and Darian and Colby, and all of them. It has been a great tournament, a great season, and uh, Chris, I'm looking forward to next week's state tournament. It's going to be, uh, it's, it's going to be, it's gonna be fun. fun. It's yeah, going to be a I lot agree. of fun. It's going to be challenging for Magnolia. It's some tough some tough teams we talked about it yeah well i appreciate you letting me talk a little bit on the radio and uh we've got to ride over here with you and your lovely son sam well thank you very, very much talented yeah sam trout very talented very intelligent young man blows a mean saxophone too and involved in our jazz band and so it's a lot of fun to see sam play music and direct our bands and, and you've got him working the softball games doing the I PA do, for yeah, you yeah, i softball. recruited steven Souter asked me to do the softball and i wanted uh sam's got a great voice and matter of fact he started in the second inning and after the game, actually the next day, uh, Misty Ward was there and she didn't realize that it wasn't me. It was him. So that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, because uh, Chris, you do a great job on the PA in Magnolia. I know the fans appreciate that. And that's going to do it for us from uh, Star City. Uh, Magnolia again wins tonight. Final score 63-48 for Chris Carter, for my son Sam Trout, who uh, helped me eat some fish in Camden tonight. And uh, hopefully a uh, pork sandwich if we can get some on our way out. We probably need to go check on that. And uh, for Bailey back in the studio. Bailey, thank you for keeping me lined out in, uh, on the air tonight. So that's going to do it. Magnolia wins. They'll advance to the state tournament, get a bye next week. And uh, we will see you next week from Moralton. I'm Mark Trout. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night, everyone.